name is Dr. Charita and welcome to MBH Capsule Talks. I know it's been a long while. Yeah, I got a lot of queries in my last video regarding UGC net and PhD. So I will answer to each of your questions. Uh, most of them has asked about the books to refer. So I would say Park textbook for social medicine was the one I started learning. And then I referred Leon Gordas, uh, which kind of helps to understand a lot of logics. For an in-depth understanding, go for textbooks called Beyond the Basics Epidemiology and another one is Concepts of Epidemiology by Raj Bhopal. Uh, to learn the policies and program, refer J. Kishore. Also remember to go for the latest version because programs uh, will have a lot of modification probably every year. Then for biostatistics, we have Graveta, which is a fantastic test book to understand the concept. It's kind of a big book, but with a lot of stories and examples, it's kind of fun to read. Then we have The Essentials of Biostatistics by Internil Saha, which is a smaller book, which has a concise uh, version, which would help you to revise. And uh, regarding the UGC net uh, last year question paper, you can get it in uh, UGC net website itself or else there are a lot of books available online with a collection of question papers. Then somebody asked if I have telegram uh, ID. No, I don't. Uh, the next uh, is regarding the job opportunities after MPH. So first and foremost is academic institutions. You can pursue a career in teaching and research as a faculty member in the university or a research institution. Uh, many colleges uh, in India offer position in public health uh, uh, as a professor um, and researchers. Next, in the government organizations, we have a lot of opportunity in the government uh, bodies such as uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, State Health Departments, uh, National Health Mission and other public health agencies. These organizations often uh, hire public health experts that have PhD for research, policy formulation, program implementation and monitoring. And we have the non-governmental organizations, NGOs. Uh, PhDs are considered as uh, the experts to design and implement health programs, conduct research and provide the technical assistance. Some examples are PATH, Care India, Public Health Foundation of India, and so on. Then we have the international organizations such as WHO, UNICEF, UNDP. Here also they will need experts in public health. And we have the pharma companies such as uh, ICON, IQVIA, etc., which are mainly focusing on clinical researches. And there also such kind of expertise are in need. Then we have our research institutions in India like ICMR, NIE, AIMS, uh, which also hires PhDs to lead the research projects. So if you have a net cleared and you have PhD, then the pay scale will have a UGC scale in the academic jobs. And it's always better to clear UGC and JRF because if you are uh, uh, learning it private, you will have to, you will not have any income for the next three to five years. And sometimes they will provide an institution fellowship, which is much lower when compared to the UGC scholarship. So the next query is whether MHA people can write public health net exam. So as per the guidelines, is the master degree in the concerned subject or any other subject or recognized by UGC. So I'm not very really sure, maybe you can contact UGC and uh, they will let you know about that. But one thing is that it's always better to focus on your subject because it will be uh, very difficult for you because the subject is different. Okay, next uh, I have asked for the tuitions is the standless based on the UGC syllabus for social medicine. The videos will be very basic and suitable for a quick revision. So if you want detailed video, you can comment below uh, the task. Also, you can mention the topics and uh, also please comment whether this video was helpful for you. So that's all for today. Hope this helped and see you soon in another video. Till